Okay, we're gonna test these uh, Hobby King Elite 5010 274KV motors, uh, 18 by 4 prop, uh, carbon fiber obviously. On uh, 8S and 6S, here's the batteries that we'll be using. It's a couple 6600s uh, in series. And for the 6S, I got 8,000 here. Uh, that's what my initial plan was 8S with this T960, but these these Afro 20 amp HVs, I ordered seven of them, but uh, only three of them would sync up. The rest of them wouldn't. Uh, I couldn't figure it out, so I had to go to another way. So I went with uh, KDE Direct. So let's uh, try it out and see what we get. Okay, we've got a, a 6S hooked up here. And I'm just running it from the, the flight controller. And I have my, my fail switch, fail safe switch here set to uh, manual. And my uh, throttle is... Uh, Spring loaded, so let's uh, see what we got here. throttle test on 6s so let's do that all right let's try a uh, 8s and see what that gives us Okay, now full throttle AS. <laughs> Okay, so uh, success at about 900 grams, we had 4.3 to 4.4 amp. Full throttle, we had about 20 and a half amp at about uh, 2,500, a little over 2,500 grams of thrust. 8S, 3.0 to 3.1 amp at around 900 gram. And full throttle was over 32 amp and over 4,000 grams of thrust. And all this was done with an 18 by 4 prop. So a hover with a 6S, about 24 to 25 amp, and hover with an 8S. With my weight, it'd be about 18 to 19 amp. That's 5.4 kilogram, a little over 5.4 kilogram. So, 
I've been using 6S for a little bit and that hover number is, is pretty much right. I've been getting about 23 to 24 amp in a hover, so. And it looks like it might be pretty good. 18 to 18 amps compared to 24 sounds pretty good, so it might be all right. Okay, so just a quick look at these ESCs. Uh, UAS 35 Plus KDE Direct. Uh, they have a, a nice pad on the back here. A nice thick uh, e or a heat sink. Uh, they do come with uh, bullets, but I just cut mine off. And you've got uh, programming lead. And of course this one's for your flight controller. Uh, in the box you've got some stickers. And uh, four millimeter bullets and 3.5 with uh, shrink tubing. And of course your your instructions. And I went ahead and ordered this programmer just in case I needed it, but turns out I didn't even need it. Uh, straight out of the box. I didn't change any of the settings straight out of the box for the test. What you saw was just hook up and uh, test. So here let me show you the device manager. Okay so startup power we've got dynamic and high. Drive frequency dynamic balanced advanced timing dynamic and 30 degrees uh, the 30 degrees I believe that uh, gives you more thrust or more torque or something like that but at a cost of efficiency so I just leave it at dynamic and then voltage cut off on and off synchronous rectification enabled disabled motor direction forward reverse SR braking activation dynamic uh, dynamic precision and balanced and of course you got you know send settings and default settings and update your firmware but that's it on that pretty simple but uh, man they seem to be really nice ESCs I'm glad I found them a little expensive though of 60 bucks for uh, one for the one that I got they do have cheaper ones uh, lower amperage and then they do have more expensive ones too so uh, if you want to check them out there's the the uh, website just uh, be warned they are expensive they're not cheap so uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, when I get this set up when I get the rest of them, I will uh, do a flight video. And when I get the 12,000 milliamp 8S2C rated battery from Hobby King, I will uh, do a flight on that too and uh, do a review on that like I did on these uh, 6600s. I think it was a year ago I did that. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, like, share. Comment as much as you want, and uh, talk to you later. Bye for now.